Hey, Dr. Luber, this is uh, Tony San Antonio. Today is February 20th, and uh, the lights are back on in most of San Antonio, and we're still trying to get water pressure up and get uh, people with uh, get their water back on. So things have been really trying here in San Antonio for the last uh, six or seven days. Well, intermittently for the last two or three weeks, I've been painting, and... Uh, uh, I have a painting that I'd like for the Institute of Art to consider placing as a part of its uh, collection. And I want to tell you a little bit about it before I show you what it is. Uh, tell you a little bit about it. First thing I'm going to do, I want to show you this. This is the Echo. This is the St. Phillips Junior College yearbook from 1953 to 1954. In this book, are numerous persons, many of which have now gone on to meet the Lord, and there are some people here, here still standing and serving this community. And one such person is a person by the name of Dolores Williams. Now, we all call her Mama D, and, and we do that with great love uh, because she has meant so much to this community. Now, I want to take the opportunity to show you, this is like I said, 1953-54 yearbook. Now, this picture, I don't know if you can see it right, right here. This person right there, that's Mama D when she was about 19 years old. I'm going to get a little closer so you can see it. Well, Mama D now is in her 80s. And uh, several weeks ago, she uh, was uh, received a uh, acknowledgement for her uh, 66th, 67th consecutive year as the choir director for the Antioch Missionary Baptist Church. Now, the Antioch Missionary Baptist Church has a tremendous rich legacy and history of being a very uh, significant church on the eastern part of San Antonio. Wonderful ministers have come through and have done a, just a tremendous job uh, in uh, providing the spiritual nourishment and growth uh, for the, the uh, congregation and the community at large. And Mama D has been a, a real significant part of that uh, history. She has been, as I said, the, the, the chief organist. And everybody in San Antonio knows her affectionately by the name of Mama D. You don't have to be a member of Antioch Missionary Baptist Church to know who Mama D is. She's a person who is uh, extremely warm, loving, and always giving. And uh, she's a person, too, that I would also say in terms of social platforms, she's a very, very strong uh, promoter of, of social networks. Uh, she has her own Facebook page. Uh, if she puts a Facebook posting, there are hundreds of hundreds of people who uh, who who communicate with her via Facebook and on the phone. And uh, just, I could talk all day about her. And on a more personal level, uh, Mama D, uh, when my, my mom passed uh, more than a decade ago, and my sister four or five years ago, Mama D uh, came and she was a, she became, a, she is a part of my family. She was the uh, person who came in and played uh, uh, some solemn uh, music for my mother and my sister's transition. And she has been a surrogate mother for uh, our family. And uh, I wanted to, in some way, pay tribute to that uh, wonderful gift that she's given us. And uh, what I'd like to do, as I said before, uh, I painted this picture of Mama D uh, as I think she looks. And uh, as you know, I started painting at uh, age 42, and uh, I'll be 70 years old uh, in a couple of weeks. And uh, I, I've been highly impressed by just reading numerous books on art, and particular artistic styles of many major uh, artists of our, of, our, of our society. So my art, I think, is a reflection of all the bits and pieces of things that I've learned and try to incorporate in my work, and uh, I want to say I love Mama D, and uh, I wanted to do something really, 
really special. And uh, my, my prayer is that uh, the committee there, because of this lineage, this history, that this particular person promotes would be considered uh, to be a part of the permanent collection. Now, listen, I need to tell you, I've not told her this, and I'm posting this on YouTube. Uh, I don't think she does a whole lot of YouTube, but I, instead of writing you a letter uh, and making that request, I thought I would uh, do this little video shout out and hope that uh, this would serve as a vehicle for that you could see it and uh, be moved by it. And I, I know that the, the, the John Lewis piece that I did is already there. Uh, I think it arrived a week from this past Friday. So uh, this is kind of a second installment. And it's really important to me that this painting has a home in perpetuity uh, that would demonstrate uh, a love and a caring and a consistency of commitment uh, to spiritual, uh, a spiritual connectedness, uh, a sense of community caring, uh, that it would bring perhaps this beautiful bridge between San Antonio, South Texas, San Antonio, and Minneapolis. And I think it would just make her feel great to know that there is this place up north that held her picture in perpetuity as a part of the collection of the Institute of Art. Okay, so without any further ado, this is my image that I paint. There it is. And I hope that you can see it. Uh, I think it looks like her. Uh, uh, I'm so excited about it. And uh, I saw a picture of her on one of her Facebook posts that she had and I uh, decided that I would paint.